Yo, what's up guys? It's Troy D. Welcome back. It's Troy D 24-7 Mall on point reviews all day every day. This is our new setup, guys. <laughs> As you guys know, if you guys saw my last video, I've been traveling, so I'm in a different location now. And so no tabletop, but we do have something nice. We got a white little backdrop over here. Now today's gonna be special. It's our first day out here, and today will be a dua review for a fragrance that is pretty hyped so hyped in fact that it's always sold out okay i had to go through some hoops to get this but this is none other than dua casino royals chariot okay casino royals chariot now this one right here is basically a dual blend of two of the most famous fragrances ever parfums de marley layton as well as Baccarat Rouge 540X straight from MFK. And we're going to be talking about Casino's Royal Chariot. We're going to be like, well, you know, is it really an accurate blend? What is the blend like? What is it like when you wear it? And is it worth all the hype? We're going to go through all of that today. But before that, we're going to go hit the music. Okay, we are back. Casino Royals Chariot. Man, Woo! finally, we do have this. Now, this one here is pretty much always sold out on the Dua website. I don't know why. I mean, is it really just because of the combination? Like, people are just trying to skip buying the clones of each? Or is it because people really, like, swear by it, okay? But yeah, Casino Royals Chariot is a combination of two of the most famous fragrances ever, Layton as well as MFK Baccarat Rouge Extrait. Both I've actually owned and loved, um, but one of them actually I don't own anymore, which is Layton, okay? Now, Layton, as you guys know, is, is one of the most user-approved, you know, girl-approved fragrances out there. Uh, but it is also, believe it or not, the most traded fragrance out there for a couple reasons. Number one is because uh, there will always be a market for Layton, okay? Uh, sorry, I'm talking about Layton here, but there's, there will always be a market for Layton, and that's why it's always traded. A lot of people um, will sell it, and immediately within a few minutes, you'll find a buyer. And this is, this is not the case with other fragrances, okay? But with Layton, definitely you will always find a buyer for Layton because there's always going to be someone that wants to get that seductive, beautiful uh, apple, green apple cardamom scent, uh, which is which is truly, truly amazing. And then there's Baccarat Rouge, which is like, there's the extrait, which is really expensive. And if you watched my last video on Casino Royal Nights, I basically mentioned that it is a very good, uh, representation or inspiration of the Baccarat Rouge Extrait. So because of that, you know, this makes a really, uh, you know, you could say potent, potent pairing as well as a great combination that many fragrance users could possibly enjoy. Okay. So a couple of things, guys. When I sprayed it on my hand, so this one was the interesting part. Uh, when I sprayed it on my hand, basically it opened up with Baccarat Rouge, okay? And I was like, oh shoot, it's like it's all Baccarat Rouge. And then uh, over the next minutes to hours, it would alternate, okay? So this is really interesting. I don't know if this is the same experience with you guys, but it would alternate with Layton. It would be like a full Baccarat, full Layton, Okay, and then when it would go to full Layton, you wouldn't smell the Baccarat. It's very interesting. And then it would go back to Baccarat and then back to Layton again. <laughs> so depending on what time you sniff, like literally you could like try it every other hour. Um, you could get like one or the other. So that was just like spraying it on my uh, hand or my wrist, you know, just like checking it. And I would like get whiffs of Layton or Baccarat Rouge Extrait. So very, very interesting. So all of this really made me so curious as to trying the full wear. Uh, so that's what I did. You know, I did my standard Troy D3 sprays. And 
what I can say is that the total effect when it comes to like the full wear is mostly Leighton, all right? Uh, and then it's like Baccarat as just like the background actor, almost like on the dry down aspect of it, the Baccarat comes in. But mostly it's also Leighton, which is an, it's an accurate, to me it's pretty accurate, accurate representation of Leighton. You know, you've got the heavy dose of vanilla, you got the lavender, the, you know, the, 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 the apple, uh, cardamom. Um, it, it, it's a very good representation of Leighton, I would say. Um, and I would get like, like whiffs of those. And then later on, as it continues, I get that little baccarat saffron almond uh type thing but it's not it's very very interesting these these dual blends are quite interesting because remember casino elixir when i had that one the baccarat kind of like dominated you know the aventus side of it um and in this case i think that the latent one is more dominant than the baccarat the baccarat is sort of like a almost like a layer it's almost like a base note layer wherein mostly you smell Leighton and then you'll smell the Baccarat in the end they're not really I feel like they're not together maybe because there's more doses of that vanilla there's more doses of that green apple you know citrusy notes um, or the Leighton uh, accord rather whatever you want to call it the Leighton blend but the Leighton here uh, comes out more than the Baccarat, okay? That's that's just my opinion. Now, uh, this is interesting because this fragrance is basically like 65 bucks, all right? Um, Leighton, you can get on the gray market maybe 150, right? Maybe 150. And the retail is obviously like way higher if you want to, you know, purchase it retail at the store. Uh, but let's just say it's 150. So... 150 gets you like 125 mls of Leighton. This one here gets you uh, 65, which is basically half, gets you uh, this combination right here for 30 mils. So that's an interesting insight right there. It's like, technically, if you're really just going for the Leighton, you kind of win with the 125, right? 125 mil. Uh, original Leighton one but given that uh, given that Leighton just gets traded a lot what that means is that most guys really don't get to finish that 100 mil what are they gonna finish well basically 30 mil that's what they're gonna finish 30 mils of Leighton is what they're gonna finish before they kind of like sell it away right so you have a choice, right? So you can go the full Leighton route or you can spend 65 bucks and use exactly what you're going to use, right? Like what on, on the average guys are using Leighton because I see, I see Leighton getting sold a lot now. I'll see, I'll see the level and sometimes it's not even 30 mil, yo. It's like 20 mil and then people are trying to sell it, okay? So this one right here is like 30 mil. Uh, of Casino Royal's Chariot uh, with like a hint of that that Baccarat, you know what I mean? And it's like, it's still there, I would say, um, but it's more of like a dry down agent. So just imagine like hitting them hard with the Leighton mostly. And then when it dries down, it becomes like Baccarat, okay? So, which is both nice and quite an interesting pairing. Um, like I said, if, if it's like 30 mil for 65 bucks, I guess, you know, you could definitely use this over the Leighton and you won't have to like, you know, have to resell anything, right? It's just, you'll, you'll get to use this. So for me, yeah, I mean, very accurate representation of Leighton, I guess. Um, what I'm curious about now is if uh, Duo actually has just a pure Leighton, um, inspiration or clone and if that sells out too uh but this this guy this bad boy right here is like always sold out like literally i had to um i had to get it from someone okay um also spraying it on me i mean the siagen projection i can't say nothing i mean 
it, the CR is just, just like Layton, um, very powerful, very nice, um, and uh, it definitely lasts long, um, just like most of the duos, I would say. It's just an interesting call, and I would say, like, if, if it was like for rarity's sake, if you're a dua collector, I'm just addressing pure dua collectors out here. I mean, if it was for like rarity's sake, I would also get this, right? Because this is like one of those like sold out ones uh, that they barely restock. Because I've been through like a couple of restocks already and I never saw this get restocked. So, wow. Okay. Must be, must be really, really wanted. Now, um, I do suggest guys, if you just want to hear the Bakrat side of things, I did do a clone, uh, real versus clone comparison of Casino Royal Knights and Bakrat Rouge. Make sure you guys watch that video. Uh, because if you're wondering like, how is the Bakrat side of this, make sure you guys watch that video. Cause I'm pretty sure it's that exact blend that's in here. And um, the latent side of it, like I said, pretty impressed with how it is. I mean, once I sprayed it, I was like, oh, that's latent for sure. So they definitely nailed down the latent side of it. Um, and I don't think I have to go through the latent side of it because <laughs> everybody knows it at this point. It's just a matter of preference. Once you buy it, are you going to get a full bottle of latent or are you just going to get 30 mils with this and with a nice baccarat dry down is there a difference really uh, i don't know i feel like it still gives that same effect i feel like if you wore the original Layton without the baccarat and then you wore this you would still enjoy the same thing i guess that's why like people who own this one are also happy with it because they get the same projecting effect of Layton. really really mass appealing really uh you know, sexy, spicy, you know, there's a green apple, like I said, vanilla, um, they get the same thing. So, you know, even if you don't own Layton, you can get the same result with this one. I guess that's why people love it. It's always sold out. I don't know how much the Baccarat Rouge factors in this whole thing. So if you guys are dual collectors, you want to chime in on the comments. If you own this, why do you like it so much or what made you buy this? Let me know in the comments. I would love to know, okay? Because, um, I don't know. This thing's always sold out, and that's the reason I got this. I was, I was just like, man, this is always sold out. I gotta get it. <laughs> I gotta grab it. And uh, interesting, very, very interesting. Basically, I would say mostly Layton, Baccarat Rouge on the dry down, or somewhat of a supporting actor, but mostly Layton. Um, it's just a matter of the original Layton being purchased or this one, really. Okay, but 65, I mean, plus the discounts, collectors, uh, collectors value, I would say. Do a collector clout. I mean, definitely grab this if you need to do that, okay? But I'm really happy I got this one. This is, again, for me, a possible daily grabber. And now that I don't have a Layton anymore, um, I haven't had it for a long time. This is a great, um, you would say, uh, replacement, right? Okay. All right. So that's it, guys. That's my review on Dua Fragrances Casino Royals Chariot. Um, again, I hope this restocks very soon so that everybody can get it. Uh, again, don't forget to subscribe, guys, because we've got more Duas coming in, usually the rare stuff. And if you have other uh, duas that you want to compare with the original ones, I have a lot of the original ones. Uh, let me know. Hit me up on Instagram. Uh, we have some friends that are really willing to send me the duas so that we could compare it with the original ones. Um, I'm not here to knock dua down or anything like that. I just would love to compare them. That's it. You know what I mean? I'm sure they did their part to, you know, make it as close as possible. So that's it all right so until then guys i'll see you tomorrow for another video this is troy d take care guys